What's up YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks. Thank you guys for stopping by today. Today I'm going to do pinto beans again. Now I've done these multiple times. I cook them often. Uh, however, uh, I'm going to do something a little different and um, the main purpose for this video is not necessarily the recipe, although it is a kind of a new one. So I, I, I want to see how this turns out, but I'm trying to get down the timing. Now, normally when I cook pinto beans, I soak my beans overnight. And depending on, you know, how big of a batch you're cooking, that could cut your cooking time down from an hour to two hours. However, in a competition, um, you got to cook them on site. You can't pre-soak. So, I'm trying to get down exactly how long it's going to take me to cook two pounds of pinto beans. And I want to make sure that I got my timing down. I know when to start. Um you know, when to pull them off, that kind of uh, stuff. Um, I'll show you what ingredients I'm going to add to the uh, pinto beans, the measurements of each one, and we're going to see how this recipe turns out again, and uh, mainly the time and see how long it takes to cook the beans without soaking them. Let's get started. All right, you guys, so in a pot, I got two, uh, two pounds of pinto beans, and what I did is I, I just rinsed them under the water for a, uh, for about a minute just to kind of clean off any dirt or anything that might be on there. Uh, so rinse them off, put it in a pan, and we want to cover it a couple inches with water. Uh, let's see, I've got three cups of water here. We'll see how, how much it's going to take. So that's three cups. I'm going to go ahead and add another cup. So that's four cups of water. I'm probably gonna go um, probably one more. Just to be on the safe side. So two pounds of beans, five cups of water. Now you the amount of water you add might be different depending on you know the size of pan you're using. Uh, for this pan here, I don't know. The five cups seem to work so i'm gonna let this come to the boil while this is um heating up we're gonna move on to the next ingredients for this recipe all right one thing i wanted to show you guys really quickly this is why i'm doing a practice run at home i don't know if you could tell or not but this is a bigger pan than what i started with i started with the smaller one thinking the two pounds would be enough and when i put them in there and put the water in it looked like it was enough but as it started to boil it was actually coming up to the top and I could tell that this was going to be too small. So I had to move it. It's the same kind of pan. It's just a lot bigger. This is why I'm doing a practice run. This pan here, this one here is actually what I was planning on taking to my competition. Now I know that's not going to work. I'm going to need the bigger pan. So this is why I do a practice run when I'm trying something new. Because if this would have happened at the competition, I would have been screwed. So... I did have to add some more water to this. I added about four more cups, three more cups. So I think I'm at a total of about seven or eight cups of water. And um, we're gonna let it, you know, come back up to a boil. I'm gonna show you the, adding, the other ingredients that I uh, prepped that we're gonna add to this. We'll add the season in once it gets to a, a point where it's boiling and we turn the heat down. Let me show you the other ingredients that we're gonna add. So the other ingredients that I'm gonna add to this uh, recipe is uh, some minced garlic. This was four cloves of garlic. I've got just shy of about, or actually it's right at about half half a medium white onion that I minced up. And I took three pieces of bacon and I minced that up really fine. Now in competitions, you can use whatever you want in your recipe. However, you can't add anything that's bigger than a bean. So if I'm going to add bacon, I got to make sure that I sliced up into little bitty cubes that are smaller than a bean. Anything larger than a bean goes in your cup as an automatic disqualification. So you got you, you got to remember whatever you're using it's got to be smaller than a bean. So that's why I mince all these up really you know finely. So we're going to add all these these three ingredients to the beans once they come to a boil. We're going to add some seasonings. I'll show you what those are once we get to that point. All right, so I just turned the heat down on this. Now we're gonna start adding the ingredients. 
I've got the four minced garlic here that we're going to add to this. I'm going to add this half of a white onion, medium sized onion. I'm going to add the three slices of bacon that I've minced up. Now you can also use like ham hock and uh, that way you could just pull it out at the end and you kind of reassure yourself that nothing bigger than a bean gets in here. I just like bacon personally. I've used uh, ham hock. You know, I think it works fine, but I just like those pieces of bacon and my beans when I'm eating it. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I break up that pile of bacon. And it's going to kind of break apart as it, you know, cooks and simmers, but I'm going to give it a head start. All right, next I'm going to add two teaspoons of chili powder. Again, I will leave all the measurements in the show more description below. I'm going to add one teaspoon of ground comino or cumin. Just slightly a little bit over a teaspoon because I like it. We're going to add one teaspoon of paprika. And I'm actually using sweet Hungarian paprika because I can't find regular paprika. And one teaspoon, one heaping teaspoon of cayenne powder. I like my beans to have a little kick in them. And I could have added like a serrano or a jalapeno or something like that. But again, if I can minimize the ingredients they have to chop up just to make sure nothing bigger than a bean, I'll do that. So two or one uh, heaping spoon of paprika. I'm sorry, cayenne powder. And then to that, it's just going to be, you know, salt and pepper to taste. I'm just going to kind of season it up some, uh, probably about a tablespoon, a little less than a tablespoon. For now, we can add more later. And then I'm going to add some coarse black pepper, probably about a tablespoon as well, just to start with. Again, as this cooks and later on, you, you know, you'll taste the broth and see if you need to add any other ingredients. If you do, you know, if you need more salt, if you want a little more heat, add a little more uh, cayenne. And then I'm going to drop in... Let me get this open real quick. Two bay leaves. Now this is this is something that I've never done before. I've never added bay leaves to my beans. So we're gonna give it a shot. That's one. Whoa, 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 whoa. And two. Don't forget the fish those out at the end of the cook. So they don't go in your cup and you get disqualified. And that's it. We're going to let this simmer. Uh, my guess is it's going to take about three hours. Two and a half, three hours. You know, just kind of depending on the uh, heat, how high I have it or how, how low I have it. Right now, it's at a medium heat. So I'm going to guess it's going to take about, yeah, probably about three hours. And that's it. We'll let this run and pick back up um, probably about an hour. I'm going to taste the liquid just to kind of see, you know, how it's tasting. If I feel like I need to add anything else. Um, other than that, I'm going to let it run. And, you know, about three hours from now, we'll see what they look like. All right, you guys, these beans have been going on a medium heat for just a little bit over an hour and a half. As you can see, some of this water has evaporated. And the beans aren't done yet. They're not tender yet. So we want to add some more water to this. So I'm going to add some more water just until it covers up the beans. Now, one thing I want to mention, when you add water to this, you want to make sure that you add hot water or warm water. Do not add cold water. The cold water is going to shock the beans. Um, so you want to add hot water since, you know, it's already boiling in some hot water. So that's what I had here. I had some hot water that I added to this. I'll give this a quick little mix. 
Now I have periodically been stirring it. Uh, you want to make sure not to over stir. So what I actually have been doing is I'm really just kind of scraping the bottom of the pot. And that's because I want to make sure no beans stick to the bottom. Once those beans start to stick and burn, you almost ruin the whole pot of beans. So uh, you don't want to, you know, over stir it. But you can get in here, just kind of push underneath like that, lift those beans up. So I can fill the bottom of the pan. I'm making sure they're not sticking. And it's still enough to kind of mix all this liquid around. So that's that. We'll let it go at this point. Let's see, we're a little over an hour and a half in at this point. It's probably going to be about another hour to hour and a half. We'll see what it looks like uh, in about an hour. All right, you guys, these beans are done. The cook time, three hours. This is what they look like. We're going to give them a taste and see how they taste. So I'm liking the way they look. We'll see what they taste like. Let's get them in a bowl and uh, give them a shot. All right, you guys, this is what the uh, beans look like. We're going to give it a taste and um, see what we think. All right, you guys, we're going to give these beans a shot and see how they taste. Some here. Right off the bat, <clears throat> I'm picking up that cayenne. Now, I, I I don't know if I mentioned that the you know earlier in the video, but I think I might have mentioned that I like my beans to have a little kick to it. <clears throat> These have a little kick. Mm. These are really good. I will say though that if I make this recipe again, <clears throat> in fact, I will make this recipe again, I will leave out the bay leaves. <clears throat> I make pinto beans often. All the seasonings that you saw me add in this recipe, I normally add in my regular pinto bean recipe. However, the biggest difference was the bay leaves. And that's really why I wanted to try this practice run. I wanted to see the difference that the bay leaves made. I got to be honest and say I'm not a fan of it. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of the bay leaves. So I will make this again, but I will leave that out. However, the beans are really good. They're tender. The cook time was three hours, which is kind of what I figured on a medium heat. <clears throat> the beans are really tender. Um, also, uh, the one item that I did add that I will add next time, and I normally add to my pinto beans, is cilantro. I take some of that, mince it up really fine, and put it in there. It just adds so much flavor. I meant to do that to this recipe, but I forgot that this past weekend I had a catering gig. I made beans for <laughs> 230 people. It was a whole lot of beans, and I used all the cilantro that I had up, so I didn't have any for this recipe. But this recipe, without the bay leaves, adding the cilantro, money. And which is really my normal recipe. So I think I'm just going to stick to my normal recipe. Uh, I have a competition this weekend and I'm cooking beans. So uh, I think I'll do well. <clears throat> you know, we'll see. But this recipe, <clears throat> I think, uh, you know, I, I, I really liked it, the measurements. So usually, even though I use these same ingredients in my regular pinto bean recipe, I, I normally don't measure out the ingredients. I just add them to taste my chili powder, my uh, uh, ground comino or cumin, uh, my paprika, all that. I don't measure. I just add to taste and, um, you know, it usually turns out great. But this recipe, if you're, you know, just starting out and, and you want to, you know, get the exact measurements for something, I think would be really good. I would suggest leaving the bay leaves out. Uh, I will do that next time. But the recipe itself was really, really good. So anyway, uh, I'm glad I did this test run because it actually gave me some insight. Again, 
you saw earlier I had to move to a bigger pan uh, doing this practice run this is kind of why I did it so now I know I need to bring a bigger pan with me to my competition this weekend um, and then using the bay leaves you never want to run a brand new recipe at a cook-off you want to make sure you practice it first that's what I did today now I know this coming weekend to leave the bay leaves out so all in all <clears throat> the beans are good I, I got us some important information from this uh, from this experiment, if you will, that I think are, uh, will help me this coming weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you want to give this recipe a try, I like it. It's really, really good. Minus the, minus the bay leaves, add in cilantro. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care.